What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. Do you notice anything different about this video? Anything throwing you off? Some of you might say the beard, but I don't think that's it. It's the channel merch, man. I got sleeves on for a change. And I'll go lie, feels pretty good, man. RJFT, anabolic wizard on the back. And that fit, man, them sleeves are hugging. I mean, this is a medium. I'm gonna need to keep eating this anabolic diet to bust out a large, but it's a medium for reference. Thank you to everybody showing support on that. Finalbossathletics.com, man. Code RJF10 saves you 10%. You can be rocking and rolling in style with some joggers too. I need to stretch, that hurt. Muffins, muffins, muffins. Everybody loves a muffin. But when you get a big old muffin, what are you really eating? Sugar, fat, lots of calories, no protein. Starting your day with a muffin is just like starting your day with a flat tire. It's gonna cost you a lot of money and there's no way you're gonna get where you wanna go. You're just not gonna get there. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna change that. In this video, we'll be making anabolic chocolate chip muffins for the entire week. Massive, high protein chocolate chip muffins that you don't gotta feel any guilt about. Super simple, delicious, low in calories, high in protein. I'm telling you, man, if you've been wanting to eat muffins, but you don't want to have to add an extra hole to your belt, give this recipe a try because it might just change your life. And you already know, man, if you have the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, link in my description, this recipe is now in there along with every other one of my recipes, man. Great for cooking in bulk, low calorie, high protein, step-by-step -step instructions, every ingredient listed down to the gram so you know what you're putting in your body. I always say, man, living this lifestyle, you don't got to give up the foods you want. You just got to make the better choice. It's that easy. You get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Now we just ain't making any regular old muffins, man. We're making big muffins, Texas sized muffins. So we're gonna need big muffin trays, man. Take a look at that, rather girthy. So you're gonna need big ones. You can make small ones if you want, but I mean, I think you should always go big or go home. That's just my humble opinion, let's go. So the first thing we do is set a mixing bowl down on top of our food scale. And then ingredient one is 24 grams of a whey protein powder. I am using that cinnamon toast swirl from Final Boss, baby. Finally back in stock, almost sold out. So if you've been waiting on it, I don't know what you're doing. I'd get over there. But if you don't got this, any other vanilla based protein will work. We're just gonna add our 24 grams right down in here. Next, we just need 42 grams of plain fat free Greek yogurt. Just toss that right in. Next, we need 61 grams of canned pumpkin, pure pumpkin. And if you're like me, you can store the extras in Tupperware containers so you're not wasteful. This is gonna give this a ton of volume, and I'm telling you, you'll barely taste that pumpkin. Now, we need 14 grams of coconut flour. This will add a lot of fiber and give us the flour we need. Then we'll add about one gram of baking powder. Hope that rise. About two grams of a zero calorie sweetener, and then about 46 grams of water or a quarter cup. And once everything's in there, just go in with a spoon and mix it all together until it's thoroughly combined. And now on my food scale, I'm gonna go in and weigh out seven grams of dark chocolate baking chips, no sugar added. I like these because they have fiber, but use sugar-free Hershey's if you want, same macros, dang near. Just weigh those out right on here. And once they're weighed out, I'll take about three quarters of them, toss them down in here, save the others for decorating the top, and then stir them in. And now we get our muffin tin. I'm gonna get a little muffin wrapper. I don't know the official name, but I got it the large size. Put her down in there, hit it with nonstick, and I'm just gonna take my batter and slowly spoon it down in here. And spoiler alert, man, if you try this, uh, batter here. I mean, you could just eat what we mixed up and it'd be good, but once we bake these things, boy, you're gonna be in for a treat. And once it's all down in there, just go ahead and take the rest of your chocolate chips and decorate the top. You can obviously just put them in with the rest of your batter if you don't like them to look extra pretty, but we're obviously gonna take a picture of this for the gram, so we gotta get it looking nice and spiffy. There we go, one muffin is ready to go. All we would do is throw it in the oven for about 30 minutes on 350 degrees. It would cook up nice. But that ain't what this video is. We're gonna make some for the entire week and then some extra, that way it's easy grab and go. So what I always say, if you are making them for multiple days, just take the ingredients I already showed you or if you're using my recipe book, multiply out by the number of days you're making, do a little bit of math and you're gonna be set. So enough talking, man, we got some cooking to do. Let's go. And just like that, we got 12 anabolic chocolate chip muffins ready to go. What we're gonna do now is preheat the oven to 350 degrees and throw these in anywhere from 30 to 35 minutes. These are big muffins. They need some time to cook. 
Set a timer, boom. And when I return, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna have perfect anabolic chocolate chip muffins. Let's go. There we go, man. Look at how beautiful these are. If I just grab one and show you, just look at that, man. Took me a lot of time to get this recipe put together to where it tasted great, looked great, you know. The usual, man, that RJF seal of approval. If you made it this far into the video, smash that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. We got great videos like this coming all the time, man. Comment what you wanna see me make a week's worth of down below. And now let me show you how I store these things. Obviously, if you got a Tupperware container, you can always do that. But if you want, you can grab one, use some plastic wrap, put her face down, it's best if you let them dry if you don't want your chocolate smearing, but it's really no big deal. Flip the plastic wrap over and voila. I might've used a little too much, but you get the idea. You can take them like this, store them, put them in your fridge. That way they're easy, grab and go. When you want them, throw them in that lunch box, got yourself an anabolic muffin ready to go. And when you hear the macros in these guys, you're gonna be amazed. And we've reached that point in the video, guys. I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag and try these things together. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, all right, all right. It's go time, Final Boss Joggers. This is literally like, uh, I think we're like 30 videos in a row. Can't stop wearing them, too comfy. And if there's one thing I've noticed in this video is that I'm watching back these clips to make sure my angles are good and I'm not even used to myself in a short sleeve shirt. That should tell you something. What do you guys think? Should I start wearing more sleeves? Should I not? You let me know. All right, before we dive into these muffins, man, we gotta get them greens in, bud. The first to admit, I barely eat anything with green in it, but this keeps me on track. Whoop. Mmm, but. Woo! Available at FinalBossPerformance.com. Use code RGF10 for 10%. Same thing on Final Boss Athletics for 10% off that. All right, muffins, muffins, muffins. Let's do this muffin. This one's just looking pretty to me. Ain't she gorgeous? All right, let's peel away our little muffin liner. It's always the hardest part about the muffin, getting that muffin liner off, you know? First world problems. All right, baby, get a look at it. The perfect bite. Three, two, one, let go. See them chocolate chips in there? That's what I'm talking about. It's soft, it's sweet. You get those chocolate chips in there, so you get that burst of chocolate flavor. You don't even taste the pumpkin. You get a little bit of spice from that coconut flour. I mean, man, we got us one. And the best part about a recipe like this is how filling it is for how few calories are in it. And I'm gonna show you that here in a second. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know how we're gonna fail on our diets when we're eating muffins with chocolate chips. How's that possible? All right, I'll do another one. You don't gotta twist my arm. Peel off the muffin liner. Ooh, look how big that is. You just, you're getting so much here. These aren't mini muffins. They're not gone in one bite and boom, there went 250 calories with no protein. This is the real deal. Oh, no. Big fam. So I'm eat two of these right now. I'm gonna wrap the rest of them up. Then the rest this week, if I'm busy, go on. I'm just gonna grab it, I'm gonna eat it, I'm gonna keep on moving throughout my day. That's why I love cooking things in bulk. You put a little bit of extra time in, you do the math, you get the ingredients, you make it all at once, so that way it's just gonna simplify the rest of your week. You can spend more time doing other things you love. You can watch that new Borat movie, which 10 out of 10, I recommend, hilarious. You finally dust off that video game controller and play a game you've been meaning to play. I know there's people out there buying games or not finishing. That new Mario drop, bud. Go get 120 stars. Maybe you can put a romantic comedy on for you and the lady. You know, that'll score you some points. What I'm trying to say is when you take the time to cook, especially in bulk, especially if you got a busy schedule, you can't lose. Especially when you are making anabolic recipes, you're following this diet, you're eating high protein, hitting your calorie and your protein goal. I mean, come on. With these videos, I'm just trying to show you how simple it really is, man. You don't got to overthink it. You just got to get in there, do it, follow the diet, eat the recipes, and um, you're going to get there. Hmm. All right, I'm a muffin and a half in. I'm getting full and I've barely eaten today. That's how you know we got a winner. So in this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, for one muffin, what you end up with is 238 calories, only six grams of fat, 25 grams of protein, 21 grams of carbs, eight grams of fiber, 25 grams of protein in a muffin with only 238 calories. Cha-ching, we're cashing that out. That eight grams of fiber explains why I'm so full right now and why you're gonna be full after you eat them. When you're eating empty muffins, right? If you have a regular muffin, it's just flour, sugar, real chocolate chips, you're gonna eat one and it's just gonna make you more hungry. It's not gonna make you full. And if it did make you full, that's gonna last for maybe 30 minutes and then you're craving more sugar, right? This high fiber, very low sugar, next to none. There's a little bit in those chocolate chips, but that's about it. And then that protein, it's gonna sustain you, man. It's gonna help you stay anabolic. I know I say it all the time, but really, man, how can we fail when we're eating like this? We can't, we just gotta get in there and do it. 
Hey, you already know, if you got that RJF anabolic cookbook, it's been updated. This recipe's in here along with every other one of my anabolic recipes. Shopping list, take it to the store with you, man. Plan out your next week, all with this handy little guide right in your pocket, man. You know that if you do this and you follow this, it's gonna work. I even show you in the book how to figure out how many calories you should be eating in a day. A little online calculator, a little tool. You get on there, you fill that out, it's gonna tell you. You follow that, you're, you're there. You're literally there. At that point, you just gotta cook and eat it. Doesn't sound that hard now, does it? Appreciate you guys on the channel lately. Our protein is almost sold out again. You guys have been killing it. You guys have been smashing thumbs up, leaving comments. Um, we're growing. We're doing big things around here, man. And I couldn't do any other thing that I do here without you guys and your support, man. So thank you for that. Thumbs up for me. Comment anything down below. Let me know what you wanna see. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Make these. Do it. Tag me on Instagram. You're gonna love it, I promise.